Welcome, my dear student, to our sub, uh, commercial subject group, level three, account 212. Our lesson today will cover chapter six, income statement for merchandising business. Our le learning objective, by the end of this lesson, the student should be able to uh, know the purpose and the layout of the income statement for merchandising business, the equation of the income statement for merchandise business, and finally, the preparation of income statement for merchandise business. Let us take a look about the elements of income statement. It's constant of five elements. The first one is the sales revenue. The second will be the cost of goods sold. The third will be the income for operation. And the fourth, income before tax. And finally, we'll end it with the income, the net income. Let us take a look about the computing of the net income or loss. When we want to compute the net income, we should cover all these steps, and we will explain it in our examples later. Secondly, the computing of cost of goods sold. When we want to compute the cost of goods sold, also we should cover all these stages, and we will take it in more details in the next example. Let us take a look about our first activity. The following account balance were extracted from Abdullah Company on December 31st, 2019. This is our data or information from Abdullah Company. We are required to find the following accounts. Firstly, we should find the net sales. Second, we should find the net purchase. And also, we should find the cost of purchase, cost of goods available for sale, cost of goods sold, the gross profit, income from operation, net income before tax, and finally, the net income after tax, and we should, should take uh, the tax rate of 5%. After looking to the data of Abdullah Company, let us take the first required. The first required, they ask us to find the net sales. How can we get the net sales? We can get the net sales by using the gross, the gross sales and subtract the total of the sales discount and the sales return and allowance. All these figures, we, we can see it from the data of Abdullah Company. Let us take a look for the data. Here we have the gross, here we have the gross sales of Abdullah Company and we have the sales discount for Abdullah Company and also we we have we have the sales return and we have the sales return for Abdullah company we find this information and we can apply it in our formula the gross sales is 19200 and we'll subtract the total of the sales discount and the sales return and allowance which is 800 plus 3,200. So we will get 19,200, the total of the gross sales, and we'll subtract the total of sales discount and sales return, which is 400. Finally, we will get the net sales with a figure of 15,200. Then we will shift to the second required. Our second required is to find the, the net purchase. How can we get the net purchase? We get it by using this formula. Our formula is the gross purchase, and we will subtract the purchase discount plus the purchase return and allowance. Let us take a look about Abdullah Company data. We have here the purchase return and allowance, and also we have the gross Purchase. If we are looking about the purchase discount, there is no purchase discount in our data. So we will apply it by zero. Let us do our formula. The gross purchase will be 5,600, and we will subtract the total of purchase discount and purchase return and allowance. The purchase discount is zero. We don't have it. And the purchase return and allowance will be 1,300. So finally, we will get the net purchase of Abdullah Company, 
with a figure of 4,300. By that, we finish the second required. Let us move to the third required, which is the cost of purchase. To find the cost of purchase, we need to use the net purchase that we find it in the previous slide and add it, add with it all the expense we spend it to purchase this merchandise. Let us take an example for the expense on purchase. We have an example of a freight and carriage and transportation and the onboard tax and the insurance on purchase. When we apply the figures in our formula, I will take the net purchase that I find it from in the previous slide and I will add the expense on purchase. Let us take a look about the data and find the expense on purchase. I have the freight and it will be an expense on purchase and I have the import tax for um, Abdullah company as expense on purchase. So, I apply 4,300 for the net purchase and add it with 250 for the freight and, and 270 for the import tax and getting the, the cost of purchase for Abdullah company. By shifting to the fourth required, dear student, you should find the cost of good available for sale. How can I get the cost of good available for sale? I should use this formula. Let us take a look about the formula. I need to use the opening inventory and maybe in other question, they call it the beginning, the beginning inventory. Or they will say inventory, inventory at the 1st of January 2019. I will take the opening inventory and add it to the cost of purchase, the one I find it in the previous slide. So, the opening inventory for Abdullah Kambani, as we look on our data, it is 3,200. So, I will use the 3,200, add it to 4,820. The cost of purchase, I find it in the previous slide, and I will get the cost of good available for sale for Abdullah Kambani, and it will be 8,000. 20. By that, I will shift to the, the part of the cost of goods sold. How can I find the cost of goods sold, my dear student? I can find it by using the cost of goods available for sale, the figure that I find it in the previous slide, and I will subtract the ending inventory from it, and the ending inventory, I can find it, find it in the data of Abdullah Kambani. Let us apply it on our formula. The cost of good, the cost of good available for sale, I find it before, and the figure of it will be 8,020. I will subtract 1,600 1, from it about the ending inventory, and I will get 6,420 as a cost of goods sold. Then. I will move to find the gross profit for Abdullah Kambani. So, how can I get the gross profit for Abdullah Kambani? I should take the net sales and I find the net sales at the beginning of our calculation and also subtract the cost of goods sold. Also, I find it before in the previous slides. So, I will take the two, two figures, 15,200, and I will subtract from it the cost of goods sold, 6,420. And I will get the gross profit for the same company. Let us take a look and differentiate between the two types of, type of expense. The first one is the operating expense and the second one, the expense on purchase. What's the, the difference between these two? The operation expense, the expense that I spend it to operate my work. And it will be an example for it, the advertising expense, the repair, maintenance, transportation out, carriage out, 
the freight out, and salaries, and finally will be the rent. This is some examples about the operation expense. When I shift to the expense on purchase, the expense on purchase, it will be the expense I spend it to get the merchandise. It will be the carriage and the transportation and freight and and insurance on purchase and the import tax. I should take in consideration some difference between the operation expense and expense on purchase. If I lock the word out after the type of the expense, I can know that is an operation expense. If I lock the word and after the expense name, I can know that it is an expense on purchase. After compare between these two, two type of expense, I will move to the income for operation. How can I get the income for operation for Abdullah company? I will use this formula. Let us discuss our formula. I will take the gross profit and the gross profit I find it before and I will subtract from it all the operation expense. I should take, take care about the operation expense because it should be total, not only one expense. Let us apply it by using the figures of Abdullah company data. The gross profit, I find it before, and it was 8,780. And I will subtract the total of operating expense. And let us take the operating expense here in Abdullah data. I have the rent expense, and I have the carriage out, and finally, I have the insurance expense. All these three expense is the operating expense for Abdullah company. Finally, I will get the income from operation for the same company with a figure of 7,500. Moving to the net income before the tax, and I can find it by applying this formula. Let us take a look about our formula. I will take the income from operation, the figure I find it in the previous slides, and add it with other revenue and gain by Abdullah company and subtracts other expense and losses. Let us take a look for the data of Abdullah company. I have income before tax with a figure of 7,500. I add it with 1,200 as a revenue for Abdullah company and subtract the expense that Abdullah company have it with number of 800. And finally, I get the income, the net income before tax for Abdullah company. Then I will shift to the net income. The net income, I can find it by using our formula, which is I should take the net income before tax, the figure that I find it in the previous slides, and subtract the net income before tax multiply it with the percent of the tax they give it to me. Let us apply it by a figure. The net income before tax is 7,900 and I find it previously in the previous slide. I subtract the net income before tax and multiply it with the tax rate. Or I can can find it by using another way. I can take the net income before tax, which is 7,900, and multiply it directly by 95% of the tax. OK, from where I can get the 95%? I can take 100% and subtract 5% from it the, fig the percent of tax rate they give it to me in the question, and I will get the 95% that I can use it. So, finally, I will get the net income with a number of 7,505. Now, if I want to shift 
in a more deep stage in the income statement. So, let us take a look for this example. The following trial balance of Taba supermarket for year ended of December 31st, 2019. I have the accounts. I have the figure and two sides, the debit side and the credit side. And I have more information here. Let us take a look for more information they give it to me. The ending inventory on December 31st, 2018, it was 5,200. As I know, the ending inventory in 2018, it will be the beginning inventory for the second year, which is 2019. And also, they give me another information that the tax income is 5%. What's required from you, my dear student? The first required to prepare the multi-step income statement for the financial year, which is 2019. Secondly, you are required to find a single step income statement also for the same year, which is 2019. By using the data we have it here, I can prepare my multi-income statement, multi-step income statement. Let us start with you to explain the income statement, the multi-step income statement. It will start with the sales figure. Okay, from where can I get the sales? Returning back to the data of the company. Let us see the sales. I have the sales with a figure of 229,400. So, I write here sales. And I mention the figure of the sales. Then I will subtract the sales return. And it will be 15,400. Here I have the sales return. After I subtract the sales return, I will get the net sales. And it will be 214,000. Next, I should find the cost of goods sold. How can I get the cost of goods sold? Firstly, I will start with the beginning inventory. How much the beginning inventory for us? It is 5,200. And we should take care the beginning of inventory for year 2019. It is an ending inventory for the year 2018. Then, I will take the purchase. And it is 162,700. I will subtract from it the purchase discount, and it is 2,700, and I will get the net purchase of 160,000. Then I will add the expense on purchase, the expense on purchase, and it is the import tax with a figure of 1,800. So then I will get the cost of purchase with a figure of 161,900. Uh, 161, if I want to get the cost of goods available for sale, I should take the opening inventory and add it with the cost of purchase. Then I will get the cost of goods available for sale. After we getting the cost of goods available for sale with a figure of 176,100, I will subtract from it. I will subtract the ending inventory from it, and I will get the cost of goods sold with a figure of 175,700. Then I will shift to find the cost of the gross profit. How can I get the gross profit? I will take the net sales that I found it before, and I will subtract from it the cost of goods sold. So I will get the gross profit with a figure of 56,300. Then I will subtract the operating expense. Firstly, I should list all the operating expense that I have it. In our question, I have the salary expense with a figure of 15,600 and electricity expense with a figure of 3,400 
And finally, I have the rent expense with a figure of 7,200. The total of the operation expense, it will be 26,200. And if I subtract the total of operating expense from the gross profit, I will get the income from operation and it will be 30,100. Then I will move to find the other revenue and gain. From my question, I have the gain. I have the gain with a figure of 8,600. Then I will add the gain from sales of machines and, and it will be 8,000, 8,600. Then I will subtract the other expense and losses and it will be the interest expense in our question with a figure of 2,800. Finally, I will get the net income before tax with a figure of 35,900. The last step in our question, finding the net income. How can I get the net income? I can before find the net income, the net tax, the net income tax. How can I get the net income tax? As we explained before, I'm taking the net income before tax and multiply it with the tax rate. So I will get the net the income tax with a figure of 1,795. Reaching the finally to find the net income or profit, I can take the net income before tax with a figure of 35,900 and subtract the income tax from it with a figure of 1,795 and getting the finally the net income of the company with a figure of 34. 105. Shifting to the, to the second required, how can I prepare the single step income statement for the company? Looking about the data I have it for this company, the single step income statement, it is more simple comparing to the multiple step income statement. I will start with the single step income statement with the revenue section. In the revenue section, firstly, I will put the net sales, and I know before, how can I get the net sale? I will take the sales and subtract the sales discount from it, and I will get the net sales of a figure 240,000. Then, I will add the gain from sales of machines with a figure of 8,600. Finally, I will get the total of revenue. This is for the first part of the single income statement. Moving to the second part, it is the expense part. So, in the expense part, I should start with the cost of goods sold. And I know how can I find the, expense, the cost of goods sold from the previous slide. But let us take a look, quick look to how can I get the cost of goods sold. Firstly, I should find the cost of purchase, and the cost of purchase I find it by using the purchase, subtract from it the purchase discount, and add with it the expense on, expense on purchase, and I will get the cost of purchase. Then, moving the, to the cost of goods sold, I use the beginning inventory, add with it the cost of purchase, and subtract from it the ending inventory that I have it in the question. So I will get the cost of purchase, the cost of goods sold, sorry. Then I have the operating expense in our example, and it will be the salaries expense, electricity expense, the rent expense, and the interest expense. I list it all and find the total of expense. Finally, I should find the net income before tax. How can I get the net income before tax? I will get revenue minus the total expense I have it to get the net income before tax. Then, 
I will subtract the income tax from the net income before tax. And I know from before, how can I get the income tax? So I will take 35,900 and I will subtract the income tax from it with a figure of 1,795, getting finally the net income or profit for our company. By that, my dear student, we reach the end of our lesson and the student should achieve the objective of the purpose and the layout of income statement for the merchandise business, the equation of the income statement of merchandise business, and finally, the preparation of the income statement also for the merchandise business. For more information, my student, you can visit the website of Ministry of Education or check the, the questions and activities in your school book. Thank you, my dear student, for your attention and see you in the next lesson.